Okay, so codominance is very similar to incomplete dominance, um, but instead of having two alleles mixed together to produce one phenotype, we instead get both alleles being expressed, which results in a third possible phenotype. In this example, we're looking at shorthorn cattle. And you can have red cattle, white cattle, or if both alleles are present, you have what we call a roan cattle. And roan cattle have both red and white hair because both the red hair allele and the white hair allele are expressed in that cattle. Um, in the first example, they've crossed a red bull with a white cow. Um, so you can look at the result of that. Um, below, it's asking, what is the result of a cross between two roan, roan shorthorn cows? So again, we'll start with our F1, our parent generation, and determine what their phenotypes are first. Okay, you can see here in, uh, in codominance, we write them as two small letters. So again, we have an R to represent the red hair color and the white uh, W to represent the white hair color. So in roan calves, or roan cattle, we'll have one copy of each. So we're looking at hair, so we're gonna use a capital H for hair. And then we have red for the red, or R for the red color, and W for the white color. So we're gonna cross two, um, one bull, one, one cow, uh, but they'll have the same genotype because they're both roan. Okay, so there's your F1. Now you can go ahead and draw out your Punnett square. And it's just like you've done before. One allele in each box. And when you cross it, hopefully you get something similar. And again, you can highlight in different colors to show the different genotypes that you had results in this. So I'll use yellow for two R's. I'll use blue for two W's. And I'll use purple for one of each. Okay, so you can see we have three different genotypes in this case. And as always, write out what your genotypes would be. So we have one calf, that would be RR. We have two calves, that would be RW. And one more calf, that would be WW. So if we look at the phenotypes in this case, this calf right here would be red these two would be roan because they have one copy of the R, one copy of the white, and the last one would be white because it has two copies of the white allele. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Just remember that this is not a mixing, even though the calves do look pink, it's because they're expressing both alleles and that's the key difference here.